friends, good morning. So today I wanted to give you a quick little tour of some updates of what we have out in the garden, out in the yard here. And then I have some really easy Dollar Tree DIY decor, room decor, home decor, things you can really use any time of the year. And just some fun stuff I'm making to put on my bookshelves and use, you know, as centerpieces and just things around our home. So we've added the wooden garden boxes that Mike has been building for our raised beds here. And I do have to finish staining a couple of the pieces here on this one, but I'm excited to get them filled with soil and be able to start getting some seeds and plants going in here. It's so exciting after the rain to see that we have some zucchini and yellow squash coming up. Also have some cucumber seedlings. My citrus is a bit chewed up from the swallowtail caterpillars that were on it throughout the fall time, but I did fertilize recently and I'm very excited to see what looks like lots of new little leaves and even maybe some little flower buds on here. And I apologize if it's a little bit windy in the background sound or some construction. We have neighbors working in the yard, people getting pool put in, things like that. But my lettuce is doing super well. Like Florida, winter is the time to grow lettuce. It doesn't grow a lot of the rest of the year through the warmer months. Swiss chard has done really well also. So has the kale and the cilantro and my broccoli all flowered. I've left the flowers because the bees have been really enjoying it. Dill is doing really, really well over here. And then on that side, I did plant some more dill seeds. And we do have a few seedlings coming in. And this little avocado is our newest plant. It's quite small, barely two feet tall, but I'm excited to see how it grows. It does have a lot of little buds in there that'll hopefully turn into all new leaves as the plant grows. It's still, still quite small, but looks pretty healthy. And yeah, I'm excited to watch it grow. We have a couple of tomato plants. I decided to go with cherry tomatoes. The regular tomatoes seem like either the worms would get them or they would crack and split. So basically, I've just decided to do the spring and the fall here with um, cherry tomatoes. And I did get some Everglades tomatoes, so we'll see how those end up growing. I'm just trying to start the seeds now. So I have some seeds in here for the Everglades tomatoes and for a like Korean Asian eggplant. I also have some seeds that I've started in here with a little bit of seed starting mix. And I just cut some toilet paper and paper towel rolls into like, you know, I think the toilet paper roll I did into two or three sections, I think three sections each. And I've got my tomato seeds in here. So hopefully this will work as a, you know, free way to start your seeds without buying the little seed pots. So let's go ahead and get started. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm taking one of these wooden boards or this little wooden plank from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna do all of this with wood glue. I know it takes a little longer to dry, but it's going to give a just a much stronger, better hold and I really want this to hold together. So I'm taking the little wooden Jenga blocks and adding a little bit of um, wood glue and standing them up all the way around this long wood rectangle piece and just standing them all up on end so it basically makes a nice little tray with about you know an inch inch and a half like edge all the way around it. I am gonna go ahead and give it a coat of paint first. I, I wanna use this as kind of like a flower vase station for a centerpiece idea. 
or as the perfect place to have some little jars to propagate some of my plants that I can put them in water and let them grow new roots. For the jars, the one that I found worked out perfectly is the Great Value jars from Walmart. So they have these seasoning jars, spice jars. You can obviously buy these kind of like clear glass spice jars, but personally, I feel like the best, most practical thing to do is to save them when you're done rather than recycle you can now reuse these jars so and i love the fact that they have like this little plastic label that's very easy to cut off and it comes right off and you have a nice clean easy to reuse jar here so it's the perfect thing six jars fit perfectly in here and then i'm just going to cut different flowers and things from the yard to put in here for now but then in the future if i want to take cuttings from like my pothos plants or my lemon lime maranta plant i can put them and propagate them in the water here let me know would you guys use this to propagate plants or would you use it to just add some fresh greenery or fresh flowers maybe from the outdoors and if you guys are like me and you love making use of whatever is growing naturally in your environment and nature whatever plants you can find go ahead and leave me a comment down below that says cilantro flowers because that is exactly what these white flowers are that I'm using in my centerpiece today. We are using cilantro flowers. For the next one, we are gonna, this is kind of a little DIY Dollar Tree decor piece. It's not practical or useful in any way. It's just kind of a pretty and unique piece to put on a shelf as a piece of decor. I took two of these oranges from the Dollar Tree, gave them two coats of paint, take some gold foil leaf paper and press it on, brush off the excess with um, a dry paintbrush. I just glued these together and then you can stand them up on one of these little candle holder pieces from Dollar Tree. You can also paint the candle holder, but for this one I left it white and I just did some of the metallic gold puffy paint in bands around it just to kind of emphasize the design of the candle holder on the bottom. And I think this turned out really pretty. I have it on my bookshelf. Now for the next one, we actually are gonna make a candle holder taking a glass, a margarita glass from Dollar Tree, flipping it upside down. And then for the top candle holder part, spray paint that glass before you add in your top clear piece now that little clear plastic piece is actually the dome from one of these um, decor pieces from the dollar tree and i just saved that little bottom for a different project and i just used the clear plastic dome upside down as a little candle holder again only battery candles in here you guys don't put any real candles this is only for like a battery led you know battery candle but you can get some in Dollar Tree. And also I will link a set of these down below in the description box. I think they're really pretty. They also have timers, they have remote controls. And so you can have them go on at the same time every day if you want. And they just, they flicker and they're beautiful. And I like them so much and they just look so, so lovely in here and they're totally safe. <laughs> so anyway, for the next one now, the next one is actually just a very cute little storage container and I basically took one of these wooden pencil holders, a square wooden pencil holder from Dollar Tree. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know if they still have these because I did purchase this one a little while ago. I know every Dollar Tree can be a little bit different but I used a little bit of antique wood stain on the wooden pencil holder here. For the lid, I took one of these little tiny square canvases. It actually fits perfectly on top of the square wooden pencil holder. I did give it a coat of paint just so that the canvas part was like fully, you know, just sealed. For the little handle, I took one of these little tiny gold bells and made a little hole in the canvas and then glued the top of the bell down into that little hole that I made. It's not like super, super secure. It's more of just a decoration or accent piece. And I think this looks really cute on a shelf. You could use it to, you know, keep some little candies or dog treats or something like that in it, kind of maybe out of sight from the kids. Just a really cute little storage container. And I love how this one turned out for literally just about $2. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, consider subscribing before you go. And as always, I am wishing you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you guys soon in a new video. Bye!